Have you ever dreamed of being alone? Like not a twin? Like yeah, like the only <laughs> child. <laughs> Welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. So today's video is going to be a twin question and answer. So we both have little notepads here. We're going to do a Q&A. We found a list of questions from Google that seem to be pretty popular. So we're just going to answer them, like write our answers down and you guys what we both said. So we figured that would be kind of fun to do for Vlogmas as well as we're going to be doing a Toblerone cheesecake bite recipe for you. I personally love Toblerone. I think it's one of your favorite bars mm -hmm, too. Sure. I've made these bites before in the past and they're super good. So we're going to make that after we get through these little questions. We just figured it would be a good way for you guys to get to know us a little bit better. And even for us, like it's just kind of trying to figure out if we have similar opinions, similar ideas. We haven't lived together in six years. So I have a feeling a lot of our answers will be different, but maybe they'll be the same. Exactly. And we are identical twins, but... You know, we obviously are extremely different in a lot of ways, and I think this is a cool way to probably show that. So, yeah. All right, well, we might as well just dive on into it. Favorite memory together? Ooh. Mm. <laughs> this is hard. If I have one, I'm ready. This is not my favorite memory because I have like a lot of really good ones, but it's like a really good one from this year. Okay. Um. So my favorite is from Christmas, twenty. 18 actually I wrote 2019 but it was two years ago um when we were up all night till like 3 a.m wrapping presents and then we were staying at our dad's house who just had a baby and um it's her little sister Scarlett and we had nowhere to sleep besides like an air mattress that was like flat on the ground we were like crying laughing we were just laughing so much and then That's at like so, so 3 a.m we had to go pick a relative up who was obviously just out with his friends drinking and stuff and he was hilarious and he was up to like 6 a.m. just making jokes, putting on a show. It was great. It was super funny. Um, that night we like didn't really fight at all. It was, it was awesome. So I feel like our, like our favorite memories together is when we're super silly and just like laughing. Yeah. So we like feed off each other. So we just we like do. don't ever stop. It's kind of, yeah, it's nice. So my, I wrote down one from this summer. So I just recently moved to Nova Scotia this summer and <laughs> what we ended up doing was the flights were super cheap because they just opened up the provinces again. So she flew down on a Wednesday from Nova Scotia to Newfoundland. And I was supposed to leave the next morning on the morning ferry, which was like seven and a half to eight hours away from St. John's. So we had to drive. So she flew in, she got in a little bit late. We went out with our cousin, we had a drink, ate food. I had to get the trailer hitch fixed on my car. We didn't leave St. John's till like seven o'clock at night. Anyway, so we ended up getting on the road super late, but there was a couple things I forgot to tell her. So for whatever reason, a few days before I left to drive to Nova Scotia, like the seatbelt noise, you know, when you don't buckle up, the like the blaring noise kept going off and I could not do anything about it. I have no idea. The entire way. I just didn't tell her because she was on the plane and I didn't want her to be like mad that we had to drive eight hours then also drive to, you know, from Cape Breton to... Is it Sydney, Cape Breton? Yeah, since four and a half. Yeah, hours. from Cape Breton to Halifax. So I was like, I'm not telling her because she's just going to be so mad. So she flew in, she gets in the car and this noise is going off and she's like, what is going on? And I was like, it's broken. There's nothing I can do. I don't know what to do, blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, and by the way, it's 30 degrees, I know, but the air conditioning is broken too. I tried to pull off using Google Maps. I took the wrong road. We got stuck on a one-way road, a gravel road next to a graveyard in like a little mini town that we've just never been in before. And I also had this trailer, this U-Haul trailer, like hitched onto the back of my car. Mind you, this is the first time I've ever driven with a trailer attached to my car and we were across the province. And I could not, like I was trying to back it up and we, it was pitch black, there was no lights like behind me, it wasn't on a regular it's street. And I actually was impressed with it took an hour. my skill. <laughs> Anyways, I that's my favorite done. memory I think for this year because we were both like, what is life? But we were still just like laughing so much. It was like a really, it was a yeah. good time. I guess we aged a bit, but it was funny. Yeah, it probably tacked on some, some wrinkles here. But anyways, that's my story. So hopefully I didn't. Uh... It's a good one, but it, it's, um, it was painful. Number three, what is each other's dream job? Her, I wrote, obviously like it's, this isn't like the job, but it's the goal of Max is to get your pro card and then eventually to uh, win Olympia. Um, yeah, that would be awesome. 
Is that? I feel like that's her. I theory. think the pro card is like very accurate. The yeah. Olympia is like. Yeah, but that's like a dream. It's a dream. Yes, yeah, so that's yeah, like yeah, or yeah. a dream. Like I mean, if you're competing at the Olympia and you're trying to win the Olympia, like that is a job. Like you don't. Yeah, and you promote like, like balance lifestyle and fitness. So I'm sure once you finish that, like you take that and continue with it, and then eventually you train people and. Um, continue to promote that lifestyle like that's what yeah I, exactly. I can definitely see myself doing something fitness related um i shut down own multiple businesses it is an entrepreneur and i think that owning multiple businesses like having your eggs in different baskets is like kind of your goal and i yeah, feel like that's I what i can so. see you doing yeah for sure yeah so pretty accurate good mm -hmm. job all right so question number four who takes longer to get ready you. okay i said you <laughs> Do you see how I leave the house? I said you because I think that if we're going somewhere, I you, take a long time to pick out an outfit. I'll and you take a long time. Like I, I'm always like late, like I'm five minutes behind because I'm just like doing stupid stuff. But I feel like I don't care as much about what like my, what I look like. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so we don't agree on that one. Have you ever dreamed of being alone? Like not a twin. Like yeah, like the only child. <laughs> Alright, what'd you say? I said yes. <laughs> I don't know, everyone's always like, oh my, I, I think like growing up, having someone do the exact same thing as you, be the same way, same friends, we played a lot of the same sports, um, same for the most part, yeah. um, it's really difficult, like everyone's like, oh it's so cool to have a twin. And you get compared to each other a lot. Like a yeah, lot like, more. and like not a positive way. <laughs> well, and it's always like Taylor Morgan, whoever you are, and it's like, we're our own people. Yeah. So I think like, I feel like when you first moved here, <laughs> we, we fought a lot and we like argued and, because we weren't used to being to other space um, and we really like built our own identity, but now we have a really good balance of like having our own identity and like being in a shared kind of joint relationship with like other people and our friends and our work balance and I don't know. Anyway, it's, uh, but it's, I definitely thought about it. I'm Especially sure. when we're fighting, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, or when people like confuse us, we're like, Okay. Yeah, I feel like, like it's, it's cool not. sometimes, other times you're just annoyed. Um, what are the real differences between your appearances? I just heard a couple things. Okay, so um, the main thing that people have always commented on is like our face shape. I wrote that down too, face shape. Yeah. Um, yours is more like oval, mine's a little more round. Yeah, um, I totally agree. And not just because I'm not in good shape. Um, I said face shape, fitness, style, and our eyebrows. Okay, I said <laughs> teeth, face shape, True. height, and nose. Basically, our whole appearance is different. I think that we see a lot of differences in our, each other because we're obviously our own people, but everyone else. But if we spend more time together, we end up like, like doing more things into the same person. Have you ever tried sending another twin to your exams? No. We haven't, but I've thought about it so many times. Yes. Have you too? I feel like we're identical, but we're like not we're quite not, identical not enough. Not enough, not enough, no. Have you ever tried twin pranks on people? Um, I don't know if we really have. Okay, so I don't think pranks, but you've definitely given people my number. Oh, this is something times. I did a lot, uh, especially at Santa Fe basketball. And I yeah. didn't, and I didn't even live in, like, I was in Newfoundland and she was, like, gone for the summer. I would get texts from people with no Scotia numbers, and they'd be like, hey, like, how's it going? And I'd be like, I had a boyfriend at the time, and he was like, who is this person texting you? And I was like, I have no idea. He's like, yeah, sure. And I'm like, I have no idea. Like, what are you I, talking about? Initially, I was just like panic. I was young and I wasn't used to boys like asking for my number. So I was like, oh, uh, like, no. I just felt rude, like not being like no, or I didn't think about it. So I just gave her like her number. And then after like a couple of summers, it was almost like just a thing I did, just like messing around with each other though more so than other people. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, and I definitely like people who didn't know us well enough and that thought that I was you. Like people come up to me like downtown, downtown, Morgan, like yeah. hey Morgan, and I'm like hey. Like whatever, yeah, you know. Roll with it. Yeah. Um, all right. What is the favorite thing you like about each other? Probably your sense of humor, I find. Thanks. I'm You're a silly girl. She's just witty sometimes, and I'm like, i shocked most of the time when she speaks, but <laughs> I do eventually laugh. <laughs> You're like, I can't believe that came out of your mouth. Things come out of my mouth sometimes Maybe. that I Especially. wish. I'm happy because it's funny sometimes, sometimes it's a little bit much. I have a very dark sense of humor. Maybe tell me what you like about me. Um, <laughs> I am not that. I like the fact that you are like extremely determined and driven and I feel like you don't procrastinate. Like you're like very like determined. Like I, I know I'm determined and I have like high willpower and stuff. But you're when you're disciplined. Comes, you're very disciplined. Yeah, I just feel like you're very, like you hold yourself to a super high standard and you're very confident and like that 
is something that I lack, but I kind of like get from you. And like when we're together, I feel like I'm more confident. Like I've been way more confident since I've been in Nova Scotia even. Cause like you hold yourself to this like high standard or whatever. It's funny that you say that. Cause like in my head, I'm just like such a planner. Like I need to like have everything planned out and like lined up. Like that's why I don't procrastinate. Cause I'm like, this needs to be done. This is the due date. And like, I still feel like I don't always meet those goals. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, boom, 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 boom. So like when we're just chilling, like all the time her and Emily are like, we're gonna like, always analyze sit down, what's like going sit on. down, no, relax, she, she relax. Can't chill. Like, it's like so it's a like blessing and a curse. But thank you, it's very, very nice of you. Have you ever felt your twins pain? I like this question because we do get it a lot, and I feel like obviously we don't like if she gets like smacked or something, or she's playing basketball and like gets a bruise. I'm not like oh my god, I can feel that my leg is killing. Like, it's, it's not. I don't feel her pain, but I think what people mean, I think they miss. Like it's like a miscommunication. I think what people mean when they ask this question or what the whole purpose of it is, is like, how do you actually feel when like someone's going through something? And because we're genetically identical and also have been through a lot of things together, when she goes through something and she explains it, it's like my mind operates as if it's me. Like I, like when you're upset on the phone with me, you're like going through a breakup or something like that. And I, especially if I'm not doing anything, if I'm actually just sitting there listening to her talk, I get super emotional like after crying. Cause I, it's like, I feel like I'm her. Yeah. And like, it's it's like when other people weird. tell the story, like you can empathize with them, but like you're but not like, going I feel through like I'm her. Yeah. We get exhausted. Like, like sometimes you just say like, if we're, she's telling me about her day or like something that happened, like, and if I also had a bad day and I'm listening, it's like, I like, I you feel, feel like I'm going through it again. So yeah. it's like, I'm like, oh my God, I need same. to really. Yeah, same. Like, if, like if she's feeling anxious and she's telling me a story with anyone else, like, I'd be like, oh my gosh, I totally know how you're feeling. That sucks. Like, I'm here for you. Like, vent me with her. It's like, you I take, take it on it entirely. Yeah. So definitely no. Like, I, I think that's a yes question, which people. It's definitely yes, but yeah. it's, it's it, not like. Uh, out my finger, like I broke yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, like, Can no. you feel it? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh my side. No, like obviously, I'm more of an emotional thing. Have you ever dated the same girl or boy? No, no, never. And I, and we won't. And you know what, people? You know who you are when you message us both. I think that's so weird. Yeah, I'm not down for that. Like I, I mean, even with our friends, we, we just have different types, first of all. But like, also, it's just like a respecting. Yeah, our friend group's been super, not even super good. That thing, it's just like, I don't want to kiss the lips of somebody that you kiss the lips with. Like, I is that weird? Yeah, I don't no, know. I, I think it's. I feel the same. Yeah, it's just. It's like immediately, like as soon as you date someone, it's like they're not even on my radar. I would just, yeah, I'm like that's someone that you have in, like an intimate relationship with, and like you're my sister. And I also usually have extremely good relationships with her boyfriends. Like. I like get along with yeah. them. Yeah, I get along with them super well. Um, and you the same with me. And I feel like yeah, that is something that I like. And they're friends, like brothers to me. Like I would never ever think that. Especially serious relationships are a bit different. But even like dates. And but that's the thing is, as soon as you express interest in someone, it's like, and like, usually cool. it's not even something that I thought about anyway. So but I don't think we've ever come to a place where we're like both like, oh my god, this guy. Like, what like, are we gonna do? Because most guys don't. Like most guys are like. We're, we're, we're very different. That's the thing, we're, we're different. Very different. Yeah. So they kind of know where they're going when it comes to that stuff. But there are, there have been guys that have yes. hung out with you, that have messaged me, hung out with me, that have like messaged you. or like, And we just don't know. We're like, what are you, Like, what is your purpose? What's like, your what intention? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and obviously we're, we're twin sisters, so we talk about it. So it's like, we talk <laughs> 10 times a day. More than that. So anyway, <laughs> yeah. next question. Have you ever hidden food from your twin? I think I have. I'm pretty sure like when we used to live together in high school and stuff, when there, if there's a good snack at the house. Oh yeah, <laughs> probably like put it in the back of the car. Or like Halloween candy, like I definitely gone through yours and like picked some good stuff out. <laughs> yeah, you, that sounds like you in high school. Yeah, yeah sure. definitely, definitely. Um, have you ever tried to go to a party without your twin? Yes. What? <laughs> yeah, I feel like I've done that with you. <laughs> You used to go to parties in high school. That would be true. All the time. I kind of yeah. One summer I did have like my own thing, but it wasn't I like myself. I meant you. <laughs> no, no. I used to go. I had a boyfriend that was a few years older than me in high school, true. and I and it wasn't. I don't think it was ever like I'm trying to go without her. That's what I mean though. Like I had I had my own friend group, but it wasn't like I think you. I would want you to come, but I don't know if I really asked. Yeah, I think we we definitely have done like again different. We've done our own thing like in high school especially. Very separate people. Um, have you ever lied to your twin? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, definitely. I probably still do. I feel like a lot of our stuff is like, do you have my clothes? No. Like, you know. And it's more so, it's like, it's not hurtful. It's kind of just like too late. No, we would never, like, I would never do something that was like, like, it's like white lie silly stuff. Like, I feel like it's, mm. it's not, uh, 
but yeah definitely have and there have been times where we probably had to keep things from each other do with, with our parents just for the, a period of time like when it comes to someone asking a question like if she like we're always very honest so it's like you ever asked me a question and it was like something serious like i could never not tell you yeah but, but it's like we, we withheld yeah. information from each other um say if something happened with our mom or our dad and the other person's going through exams or something like that we would we know each other well enough to know like the balance of when you should mm -hmm. say something and when you shouldn't and like we've definitely withheld information and then shared it at a later date because of that so i think and that, some things are minor that it's just like oh uh, like yeah like the clothing thing um have you ever regretted your twin's behavior? Um, why are you looking at me? <laughs> because I have. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I have with you. I think but so But not too. as many times as you probably have with me. I don't think, so I think that like, I'm definitely not an introvert. Um, I think that I'm, we're both, we're both extroverts. Like we're both very social people. I think that you are, again, like very confident and like you are not afraid to say how you feel. And I'm not either. It, it's just we have different limits. But I can, I can definitely say that like when I was younger, um, even up until like a couple years ago, like I was a little bit of a loose cannon. Like I, I probably, I, I, I'm totally proud of like being outspoken, but I now I believe that it's important to be self-aware and like there's a certain way to go about that and that there's a certain yeah. there's there's always a better way to say things even when you say it in a way there's always a better way to say it um and I've learned that and I feel like growing up I, I was a little bit emotional and like I just, just kind of I'm also very and, and honestly she probably regrets my behaviors in the way that I didn't stick up for myself multiple times or like I am too quiet because it's like there's a lot of things I let go really well, you just shy away a lot like yeah and I, I it's not I don't enjoy confrontation um I have no problem again like saying something to somebody especially if I feel like someone else is getting hurt in the process but when it comes to yourself that's when you but when it comes to myself I just I'm like I'd rather I just don't like to fight I don't like conflict at all I'm like I don't even care I, I really don't care about a lot of things so but you I do just, care it's just like yeah but it's like to me I'm like it's not worth it and then like it, that's how we're, we're very different but I yeah. think over the last year or so especially we've developed a lot um, we're learning like, from each other yeah that. yeah exactly so um, I think definitely I've regretted behaviors in the past but it doesn't mean that we don't regret our own behaviors too and I feel like that's the thing I feel like for the most part we especially at the beginning we might not be able to like see each other's point of view like while it's happening but then after we always are able to like talk about it and then we're like oh yeah and like for me it's like if she's giving me feedback even if i'm like oh i don't want to hear this right Shut now it's annoying yeah. like i do like it stays with me it resonates with you and like yeah. later on you're like okay and I, I feel the same way too um we've definitely been way more self-aware with each other in the last six months to a year as well and i think a lot of the stuff that we've gone through together um and like the work we've done individually of the like, girl flies the last little while has like reflected on how we treat each other too because there was a lot of you know stuff that's happening where we both like taking it out on each other and now we're like no we need to be here for each other and i feel like yeah we're the only people we have yeah exactly so i mean it's a good question i like that one um do you have the same clothes and shoes no we do this intentionally we get different things so we have double the wardrobes sure so no um yeah we'll probably we'll probably just add it off there the rest of them are pretty generic kind of like personality questions and i feel like a lot of them are a little repetitive so yeah i'm um, gonna go ahead and get into some told room bites hopefully you guys enjoy that because i feel like it kind of it's good for us yeah it's good it's like i don't know we're we very different interests um and like relationships with people mm -hmm. and the way we live our like everyday life is very different but we're very similar and like when we're together like we think the exact same we say the th same thing at the same time yeah you guys probably know if you've watched vlogs of us together we <laughs> say yeah. the same stuff at the same time all the time but yeah so as the camera died but yeah that's pretty much it for this part of the video hope you guys enjoyed we're gonna get into those cheesecake bites now and i'll probably get you to taste test it and, and the roommate and, and my roommate to taste test it and give you a little review. Awesome. Bye. <laughs>the cheesecake bites now so i just showed you guys all the ingredients i have everything kind of prepared and ready to go so i'll just show you me putting them in but what we're going to be using is 150 grams of light cream cheese we're also using 240 grams of plain fat free greek yogurt i just picked up the lactose free one um, we're also using a little bit of cocoa powder which is in this container here we've got a scoop of jack factory protein powder we're going to be using around um i think like 75 grams of Toblerone. I'm going to double check that, but I'll put it on the screen for you. A little bit of vanilla extract. 
a little bit of stevia, and we have 40 grams of egg whites as well. So it's pretty simple stuff. Um, the ingredients are pretty similar for all the cheesecake bites that I do. It kind of just varies on whether you add things like cocoa powder or you're doing like Oreo or whatever. So yeah, we're going to just mix it all up and then put it in the oven. So the oven is currently preheating at, what's it, 350 you put it on? 350 and I'll put them in for around 15 to 20 minutes because they're only little so you guys will see us mixing it up and then you'll see what it looks like when they're all finished. What I usually like to do is I'll take 12 of half of a Toblerone piece, so I'll just cut them all in little halves. You guys can probably see it there. I don't know if you can or not, but anyways, I'll take a half and I'll put it in the top of it once I put it into the little cup, um, cupcake cup, what's it called? Half of one and top it with that, and then I'll take the other halves and just chop them up super finely and then kind of mix it throughout the mix once it's all stirred up. <laughs> recipe to do you can kind of take it whatever way you want but um yeah i made 12 i'll put the macros on the screen for you guys now my sister's gonna test them out they're still kind of hot so i don't know like they're way better when you have them in the freezer or fridge overnight but she's gonna try it out and let us know what she thinks so yeah you like it yeah it's my favorite so far and it's warm, so it's even oh, better when it's cold. <laughs> She's not trying to be in the camera right now. I'm glad that you like it. What would you rate it out of 10? Like nine. Nine? Really? Better than the Oreo based ones? The Oreo ones. These are way better. Here, why? Try one, they're delicious. I'm pretty sure the macros are lower than the Oreo ones, too. Woohoo! Okay, so that's gonna be it for today's video. Check in tomorrow for another day of Vlogmas. And if you guys try out this recipe, comment down below or tag me and let me know. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Anything else you wanna say? Ring the bell? Don't. And beat the drum. And beat the drum.